Welcome to the Breaking Tech Show from Vision on TV. We're here at Open Tech and I'm talking to Manuel Corpus. Um, so, Manuel, what brings you to Open Tech? I guess I wanted to share my experiences. Uh, you know, we have now reached a point in which anyone can look very deep into the genetic information that makes them, you know, for example, have and look the way they look and, you know, uh, susceptibilities to disease, etc. So I decided to actually analyze my own genome and I found quite interesting things. Uh, and I also analyzed my family's genome and I also found quite interesting things. And I guess that I want to basically tell people that this kind of information actually is not there to sort of be a risk for you or is not going to hijack you you know it's more like you know what can we learn from this and that's what I want to show people so you're providing people with a way to analyze their own genome well I mean my story is that when I actually anal analyzed my own genome um, I was quite disappointed with the kind of results that I got back and because I work as a genome scientist I decided, hey, I can actually find some things, you know, that are not here. And so I decided, for example, to analyze where does my prostate cancer risk susceptibility comes from? Because apparently I have about 50% higher chance to have prostate cancer and there is no such a thing in my family. And so I decided to go into the actual sources on my own and therefore I decided to analyze my family to see how the heck my family got this uh, and I think it was quite interesting to see actually that my family's genome data, uh, my mom's and my dad's are, are not risky in terms of prostate cancer but the, the bits that I inherited from them put together actually make me have a higher risk of prostate cancer. So these are the kind of things that I want to people know that can be done. I'm saying, of course, all of this data uh, is extremely private and all of this data has to be dealt with extreme care. I, I did have uh, full consent for my family to, to actually be able to do this kind of analysis. Uh, however, I do respect that not everyone might feel comfortable with this kind of analysis. You know, I know that there are people who, you know, would not know to, would not want to know whether they are going to develop alzheimer's i mean we can actually see risk factors that can increase the potential uh, i guess chance for you to develop these things so i think there are quite a few interesting stories to say and i wanted to share them here so You've got some sort of reasons you're a, a genome scientist so that you have a curiosity about Absolutely. how this works. Why might other people, why might I be interested in knowing about my genome? Well, I guess, for example, uh, you might want to know whether your father is your real father. Actually, about 10% of the American population is being calculated that their father is whoever they think is their real father is not, actually. You might want to know if you are having, for example, that your grandmother had breast cancer, you would like to know whether you actually inherited that, that risk factor. And, you know, being able to treat cancer at an early stage will certainly determine your likelihood for not developing uh, this kind of illness. So I think, you know, I'm not saying that this is actually a, a kind of technology that is gonna determine your future. Certainly there are many, many different factors that do determine the, your future. This is just one more thing to take into account. And I think it's something that, you know, now is becoming accessible to people. And I think people would expect that they are potentially interested in, the, in this kind of technology. So how do you advise people if they uh, are interested in understanding more about their risk factors and their genome? I mean, that can be quite an emotional Absolutely. process. So Absolutely. how would you recommend people cope with the emotional fallout from this kind of information? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I would, there are uh, genetic counselors available that can allow you to basically receive the proper advice who will be able to um, give you a, a real view because even if they, it says that you know you have a 30 percent chance to develop this what does that mean in terms of a person i mean is person is not statistics you know uh, this could potentially be 
life-changing um, I guess factors and you know in order to get the real sense and how this actually affects you is is absolutely necessary that you know people who do not understand this kind of genome technology uh, get the proper advice from genetic counselors and so on and certainly don't go to your GP so if one of our watches is uh curious and, and wants to know more about uh, how to get their genome sequenced, uh, what advice do you have for them? Um, the advice would be, I guess, make sure that you are, I guess, willing to have fun because a, a lot of it, I think, at the moment, really, is more like, I guess, uh, you know, when you look at your horoscope, horos horoscope? Uh, I mean, it's a little bit it's like that, you know, like anecdotal things that they tell you are like, for example, can you smell uh, asparagus when you pee? I mean, that's one of the interesting things that, you know, can be measured with current technology. Uh, there are companies out there, uh, go on the internet and look and see. But as I say, you know, make sure that um, I guess you have the right kind of specialist person to uh, advise you. But, and by all means, do not interpret this uh, results as something that you know is medically compelling because right now, to be honest, it, it is not. Do you have a website that people can visit? Yes, I have a website, uh, but I guess you know you just search by me in Google and and then you'll find me. And if not, you know just um, I guess enjoy this new technology. Uh, I want to say that you know this is. This is not something to be afraid of. I mean, it's something beautiful. You know, it tells us about the diversity of, the, of each person. And, you know, go and explore yourself. Know yourself a, a little bit better. I cannot understand me being a genome scientist would not want to know about my own genes. And I guess that this will, will be the case for many other people. Thank you very much. And thank you very much for watching Vision on TV.